Okay, welcome back to our 30 days of yoga, day number three. And uh, today we're going to be working on my staples. And so there's a couple moves that I do in almost every single one of my yoga flows. And I call them my staples because I use them all the time and I love them. So I hope you guys like them too. Um, we're on the deck today because it rained earlier this morning and I don't know if the forest is dry yet. So we're on the deck for now. And as always, disclaimer, um, there's probably going to be bird noises in this one a lot. So I hope that isn't too much noise. Some people like the noise of birds. So um, yeah, the bird feeders are right there. So there's going to be a lot of bird noises. So yeah, just try to zen it out and sorry about it. And let's get on the mat. Okay, so let's go ahead and start in our child's pose position. So big toes touching, putting the tops of the feet on the floor, sitting on your heels, making your knees nice and wide, and then walking your hands out until your arms are all the way stretched out and your forehead is on the floor. And just breathe for a second. And of course, thinking about why you're here today and what you want to achieve. Breathing in and out through your nose as always. Kind of just observing all of the noises around you. Beautiful, and when you're ready, let's go ahead and come up into our tabletop position, bringing your knees hip width apart. And then from here, we're just gonna do a couple of cat cows. So first time we're doing these ones together, we're going to always start with the hips and then the chest and then the chin always. So in a wave motion up and in a wave motion down. So we're going to tuck the hips, round the spine, tuck the chin, exhale. And then as we inhale, we're going to anteriorly rotate the pelvis like you're sticking your butt out. Let your spine sink between your shoulders. Press the ground away and look up, inhale, and then exhale, hips, spine, chin, tuck, and then inhale, hips, spine, chin, look up. Let's do a couple more on your own time, exhale, And inhale. A couple more. And one more of each. And on your next inhale, go ahead and find a neutral spine. And then we're gonna move the left hand to the center of the mat. This one is one of my staples, is what I like to call it. So we're gonna bring the left hand to the middle of the mat, and then we're gonna inhale, take the right hand up to the ceiling of the sky, and breathe here for a second. And then we're gonna exhale as we send that right hand through this hole here, right shoulder and right ear come to the ground into threading the needle. And that left hand can either stay by your face or it can go up overhead to get even more of a stretch. And breathe, allowing your rib cage to fully expand and contract here. And bringing that left hand right by the face again, pressing the ground away as you inhale. Take the right arm back up to the ceiling or the sky. And then exhale back into tabletop position. So same thing on the other side. Right hand to the center of the mat. Inhale, swoop the left arm all the way up to the ceiling. And Exhales, you send that left hand through the hole, left shoulder, left ear on the ground. And then right hand can stay where it's at or it can go up overhead. 
and breathe. Always breathing. And let's go ahead, bringing the right hand back by the face, pressing the ground away. As you inhale, take that left arm back up to the ceiling. And exhale, that hand back down into that tabletop position. From here, we're just going to walk our hands out, keeping your hips where they are. And just try to bring your nose to the mat into our puppy pose. Beautiful. And if you feel like that's not enough, you can always try to bring your chin to the mat. Breathing in and out through the nose. And with your core tight, so engage your core, put the weight in your forearms. We're going to start to shift our weight over our forearms like in a little plank. Core tight. And then allow yourself to fall on the ground, stomach first. And then tee your arms out, one on either side. And then we're going to go ahead and just bend the left knee and send that left knee over the right side of the body into a little twist. Hi, babe. And go ahead and release that left leg back down to the ground. Same with the right side. We're going to take the right knee up, bending at the right knee, and then taking that right foot across the body into a little twist on this side. And breathe. And go ahead, release, laying back down, laying on your stomach, bringing your hands to frame your chest or right by your armpits. And then you're going to press up onto your knees. And then from here, we're just going to tuck our toes under, press the ground away like we've done before, press our hips back over our heels, and then start to straighten the legs into our first downward dog. Press one heel down to the ground and then the other, bending into one knee and straightening the other. Breathe. And from here, let's go ahead and walk our feet to our hands. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to, walking your feet all the way up in between the hands. Notice how I'm bending my knees. And then just hang here in a forward fold. You can grab the mat, bend your knees as much as you need, and then close your eyes. Or you can always keep your eyes open and grab each elbow and let your head just fall in between your arms. Just either way, imagining that you're a giant rag doll, just letting your body fall heavy towards the ground. And let's go ahead and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head up last at the very top. We're going to take our arms up with a big inhale. And exhale, hands at heart center, Samasiti. Beautiful. So we're going to do two sun salutations. So let's go ahead, big inhale up with the arms. Exhale, fold, hinge in the hips, small bend in the knees. On your next inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, place your hands onto the ground, step your left foot back into that lunge. Breathe here for a moment. And we're going to go down into that downward dog first. So go ahead, send that right foot back into a downward dog. And then on your next inhale, shift forward into a plank. Suck your elbows in, core tight. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, tops of the feet on the floor. Chest proud, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. 
Now our left foot came back first, so left foot comes forward, coming to the tippy toes of the right. Bend that left knee, core tight, core tight. Bring that knee to those, knee to nose, knee to nose. Place that foot between the hands. Remember that one takes practice, so keep trying it every single time. Inhaling here. And then exhale, step that back foot to match the front as you fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop your arms all the way up. And exhale, Samasiti. Let's go on the other side as well. So inhale, the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold, hinge in the hips, small bend in the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, place your hands onto the ground, set the right foot back. So we're into that lunge on the left side. Take a moment here. And sending the left foot back into that downward dog. And on your next inhale, shift forward into that plank. Hug your elbows in, shift forward more as you exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, tops of the feet on the floor. Chest up, engage your legs, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, right side came back, so we're taking it forward. So tippy toes of the left foot. Right knee bends, keep, keeping your core tight as you bring knee to nose, knee to nose, knee to nose, and place that foot between the hands. Take a second here, and then exhale, step the back foot to meet the front and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swoop the arms all the way up. And exhale, Samasiti. Beautiful. Breathe here for a second. Just close your eyes. Nice. And let's go ahead. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down, placing the hands on the ground, stepping both feet back into our downward dog and breathe. Now we're gonna practice one more time for that downward dog to lunge. So tippy toes of the left foot, bend the right knee, bringing your knee to nose as you shift your weight forward into a plank, set that right foot down. And then we're gonna pivot into a skandasana, pivot. So that means a side lunge right here and just sit into that right knee a little bit left leg is extended out hands can be on the ground in front of you whatever you choose and then pressing the ground away as you stand all the way up into a wide legged stance hands on the hips and then imagine yourself tilting your pelvis with your hands so hands on the hips Tilt your pelvis forward, stick your butt out, chest goes to the ground, fold. Maybe place your hands on the ground here and just breathe. Feet are a little bit pigeon-toed. And as you exhale, see if you can fold just a little bit more. And when you're ready, hands on your hips. Coming all the way back up, same way we came down, into that wide-legged stance, and then going into a skandasana on the left side, side lunge. Breathe. And from here, we're gonna windmill our arms over our left foot into a lunge. So windmill the arms, straighten out the feet into a lunge over that left foot. And then we're going to send that left foot back into that downward dog and breathe and we're almost done don't worry and let's go ahead come up to the tippy toes of the right foot this time left foot bends the knee 
as you keep your core tight, knee to nose, knee to nose, knee to nose, left foot between the hands. Breathe here for a second. And then from here, we're gonna pivot into that skandasana on the left side and breathe. Maybe you're up onto your toes on that skandasana, totally fine. One day, trying to get that heel to the ground. Let's go ahead and press up into that wide-legged stance. Pigeon toe your feet. We're going again. So hands on your hips. Tilt your pelvis. Fold. Hands on the ground. Breathe. Maybe on your next exhale, falling just a little bit more. And when you're ready, hands back on your hips and coming up the same way we went down. Beautiful. Adjust your feet back to normal. Going into Skandasana on the right side. Side lunge. Making sure your knee is always going out, never in. And windmill your arms over that right foot into that lunge position. And then send that foot back into our downward dog. Beautiful. Go ahead and lower your knees down to the ground. Nice and wide, distance of the mat. Untuck your toes, tops of the feet on the floor. Send your hips back into a child's pose. Forehead on the floor, stretching your arms out. Just breathing here in and out through the nose. Letting your heart rate come down a little bit. Breathing, taking your time. And then when you're ready, slowly walking one hand up and then the other until we're seated all the way on our heels. Okay, that's it for today, you guys. Okay, so that's it. Um, we did a couple of my staples. Uh, threading the needle is one of them. Puppy press is one of them, bringing the arms out in front of you. Um, skandasana and the side lunge, forward folds. And there's probably a couple more that I didn't incorporate, but those are my absolute favorites. So I hope you enjoy them or you enjoyed them. Um, what else? I don't know. Tomorrow we'll just see what we have. I kind of plan this day by day. So I'll see you tomorrow for day number four. <laughs>